Right, film number five is Phantasm. And I have to admit, this is not my favourite one of the series. But I didn't want to start off with showing any second or third or fourth film in a series. It has the distinction of being the first film that I'd seen that mixes science fiction and horror and the supernatural all in one melting pot. I actually saw Phantasm 2 uh, when I was old enough to go to the cinema and see it. I didn't see Phantasm 1 until I actually got it on video. The second one had a bigger budget and a different actor playing Mike, the young um, protagonist. But the first one does have all the ingredients that were then carried on through the series. I have to say it does uh, the, the five films of the series have taken something like 40 years to complete because there was no real rush, it seems. Um, it's not that the fans didn't want it, it's just the way things turned out. And it's good that Angus Scrim, who plays the tall man, the sort of chief villain of the piece, um, managed to film the last film. The fifth one was going to be the last film anyway. Um, and they completed all the, uh, the principal photography on it. And he died, I think it was earlier this year. Which is a shame, but it does mean we have the tall man the same tall man right from the very beginning right to the very end now it's why did i choose the film if i am not the biggest fan of it well as i said it's the first one in the series and i didn't want to jump in later on the second one is better but then it had a bigger budget i have issues with the third one the fourth one was better but done on a very reduced budget uh i haven't seen the fifth one so i'm really looking forward to it can't wait the reason i picked the first one is because again it's the, it's the start of a chain that will finish very soon it involves questions about death. Uh, there is a character called the Tall Man who seems to be preying on the dead bodies that uh, appear in, uh, that go to the the morgue slash uh, cemetery. And it's very, very um, surreal. Um, you don't really know whether any of this is really going on, whether it's something that's only going on in Mike, the, the young hero's mind, or what exactly is going on at any one time, which means it's unsettling because is it a dream? Is it really happening? As the series went on, you find out more, but there's still, uh, and as I've said, I've only seen the first four, the fourth film actually has outtakes, uh, cutting, cutting room um, extract from the first film, which lends 
by the end of the film, this sort of global, is any of this real feel to the whole series of films? The fact that there's a woman in lavender who changes into something completely different. And the one thing that stands out about the film um, is the balls. <laughs> it is a film with balls, big silver balls that are quite happy to stick two, uh, two sort of prongs into your head and start drilling into your brain. They are one of the one of the most interesting things I've ever seen, which gives it its kind of sci-fi credentials. It gets more sci-fi as it goes on. The horror is still there. The gore is is there. It's not massively gory uh, um, compared to some of the stuff you get now, but it is. A, a very good unsettling film like I said I would have preferred really to have done uh, to have um, chosen Phantasm 2 just because it's a slicker version but this is the start of um, a brilliant series of films again like I said it has taken 40 years to run its course and I, th I think that in some ways it's good that it's taken that long it's given time to build up the mythology it's definitely made the last um, the last film in the series um, one of the most anticipated movie events um, in the horror calendar. Not that everybody knows Phantasm, but those who do have been waiting for this for a long, long time. And it all starts off with this sort of fairly independent, uh, low budget film, which nonetheless has some good performances and introduces us to the ultimate um, hero, Reggie the ice cream vendor. Um, and you see him grow from what what is essentially a bit part uh, or a side character in the first film into something much bigger. So again, if you don't get a chance to see it tonight, then do try and get it. Try and get the entire series. It really will be worth uh, watching. Or wait until the fifth one's come out on DVD and then get all five and then watch them back to back because then you'll get the full story. Although there is a bit of um, duplication in some ways between the second and third films. Um, it's still a brilliant set of films and this is the start of it and Don Coscarelli who is the writer, producer, director has done a fantastic job in creating a very unique franchise which now it's come to an end I don't know, maybe they'll leave it open so there'll be another tall man or another set of uh, balls to come and terrorise us for another 40 years. So, hope you enjoy it anyway.